Hi, my name is Pat Rogers, and I'm an internet technician for IBSA and for Profile Online Incorporated. In this video is a short tutorial on how to get spyware and malware back off your computer if you end up getting some, and kind of how to protect yourself in the future from any uh, further attacks. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to pull up the screen here. It's got, this is like a snippet from one of our tests. And see this little bar right here? This isn't supposed to be here. This isn't um, built into our server or any of our software that controls our school stuff. So this is just an added thing that they like to drop in um, because of some program that's on your computer that you get. You know, if you start downloading search bars or if you start trying to stream videos through certain websites or different things like that, they'll sometimes trick you into saying you need to upgrade your your Adobe or your JavaScript and they'll get you to click on something that'll get you to download something else that'll download something else so those types of things are usually how this kind of stuff gets on your computer and then getting it back off there is a little tricky so see how this guy's on here we want to try to get this thing back off uh, because it's not actually part of the website so notice here it says ads by deal finder pro you want to if you see something like this on your computer go ahead and jot down the name and keep it to the side that way whenever you go back and you start looking for uh, this program or anything else that might be a, uh, tied to this program, you've got somewhere to start with. So this is what we're trying to try to get back off here. And first place you want to go if you are trying to get this stuff back off is the most common place, and that would be under your uh, program settings. So you're going to go into your control panel, click on programs, and then programs and features. And then this is going to pull up uh, a nice little uh, list of things that you've got on your computer. So from there, start looking for anything that says uh, search bars or, like I said, that Deal Finder Pro thing or anything that looks like it's adware or advertisement stuff or any programs like that that you're not familiar with and you're not exactly sure what they do. Um, well, if you're not exactly sure what they do, don't, don't uninstall them. But if you're pretty sure it's tied to some kind of adware service or anything like that, then feel free to go ahead and uninstall that stuff. Um, so this is where you would do it at, you you know, let's say Bitrater, let's say this was one of them right there, you click on it, and then click uninstall and change, and then it's going to uninstall that thing back off your computer. So this is, like I said, the most common list to start with. Um, you're not always going to see your stuff here. Like I said, sometimes you'll see some stuff in here that will help get you started to get this stuff back off. So it says start here and uh, see what you got. And then after that, what we need to be looking for is let's go into the browser actually and see what we've got actually built into the browser so you can go to the extensions and you can click up here on the little bar I don't know if you can see this and move this down click on this little thing in Google and it's going to bring up all your little selections and you want to click on settings from settings um, you're going to be looking for this thing over here that says extensions. So you'll click on that. And a lot of times you'll find ad programs built into the extensions list here. So if you do, um, the easiest thing you could do to just turn it off is just click the enable box. Make sure it's unchecked. And that'll make sure that uh, whatever extension that is isn't running. And then if it's you know real adamant about turning itself on or you're still having issues with it, then you can come back later and click the trash can button here and that should throw that extension away for you. So here's another, you know, like I said, spots you can go to and look to see if you notice any programs in there that have been giving you problems. Um, this is an example of a website that's got malware on it. So this website, you click anywhere on it, generally speaking, it's going to pop out with something like this here. And then when it does, it's going to have information and prompt you to download more and more and more. So like I said before, this is the kind of websites that you're going to find stuff like this on got to be real careful if it's, and most of the time they'll, they'll warn you, Google does, um, and if you're not seeing a warning or if it's starting to prompt you to download any updates for programs or anything like that, be, be very cautious about it. So here we go, this is, uh, like I said, just an example. Um, let's say you've checked all that stuff and you've still got some spyware on your computer, what can you do next? And what I would recommend doing, and this is what I've done, um, and I've been using this particular program for the last five years, and it's called SpyBot Search and Destroy. So what we want to do, if you're, you know, still got a lot of stuff on your computer, um, you're going to want to download this particular program. And this one is a free program. If you go anywhere and download this and it, it starts prompting you to pay or anything like that, or telling you have to download something else to get this program, then get off that web page, go back and find another one, and um, 
try to get this program from a clean download site. This one is coming off of download.cnet.com. I'll provide a link for this particular download at the bottom uh, in the description of this video. That way, you know, if you need this, you can go pick this thing up. And then whenever you do get this, make sure there's a lot of pretty banners and stuff that makes you want to click. So make sure when you get into this that you're clicking right here where it says download now. This is what you're going to click on to download the program. So you'll click on that, and then it's going to load you up into the next screen. And it should have, it should automatically start your download for you. If it doesn't, just follow these little prompts. Um, so once it downloads, then you're going to open it up, and it's going to install Spybot onto your computer. Once you have Spybot onto your computer, this is kind of what this is what the system scan screen looks like. But I'll go ahead and pull it back to the start menu. This is like the main main window of all the things that it can do for you. So first thing you're going to want to do as soon as you get this program is go ahead and do a full system scan, which is this window. And then once you get it in here, of course you'll just click start a scan, and then it'll start your scan. And then if it's the first time you're scanning, I'd recommend going ahead and doing the scan at night before you go to bed. Um, that way it has a good time or a good amount of time because if it's the first time scanning it may take a while depending on how much information or how much memory you have in your computer and how fast your RAM is so do it before you go to bed go ahead and shut off every program besides that um, and then turn off your internet connection too just to make sure there's nothing running in the background that may interfere with your scan while you're doing it and then when you get up the next morning if your scan's finished it'll have a list of uh, threats and different issues in this little dialogue here and then this button will be uh, unlocked so you can click it so as soon as it's done you'll click the fix selected button like that and it's going to fix whatever problems it finds so that's the first step after that you want to protect your computer from any future uh, you know doors access being open so people can get in and put stuff on your computer so you can go up to associated tasks and click the uh, start window it'll take you back to here and what you're going to want to go to next is immunize so you'll click the immunize button and same thing goes again you know you'll check your system and then after it checks your system you'll apply the immunization so it should go pretty quick you know just give you an example I'm gonna run through this thing real quick and then from there you just click apply immunization and it'll try to block all the holes that's out there to try to keep some of that stuff getting on there automatically from websites so this is a program if it looks anything different than this program or it, like I said, it's trying to get you to pay or telling you you have to pay. It's not the correct program. There's a lot of websites out there that have masked um, SpyBot, like you know, search results, trying to prevent you from being able to get to this particular program because it is pretty effective. Like I said, this is the only program I've used for the last five or six years um, for everything. I don't use virus scans or anything like that. So try it out and like it says at the beginning this uh, video is for informational purposes only so if you feel confident use this information wisely otherwise I would recommend you find a certified computer technician and let them take a look at your computer thanks for watching and I hope everything works out for you